The guy has lit, the guy has lit <laughs> his credibility on fire. In yeah. the middle of the road, he has lit it on fire and stood there and we all watched it burn. The only people that think that Adam Schiff is a credible human being are rabid partisans that have Trump derangement syndrome believe, and want to see this president can you destroyed. I believe he lied to in front of the, the House committee that he chairs in an opening statement, said that Trump had said some of the things that he yeah. never said. And yeah. then when he got caught lying, said he was just parody. He was a joke. He was, he was making a joke about it. I mean, he line. is a joke. He had the transcript in front of him, yeah. Eric. He had the transcript right yeah. in front of yeah. him. And he had to make up this weird orange man bad uh, fantasy fiction to fit into his yeah. dark carnival of what's yeah. going on in this country. And it doesn't reflect real Americans. Yeah. Yeah. America. America. Um, we had on this show on Tuesday, we had a guy who was a... Uh, former National Security Council Chief of Staff. He was also a CIA analyst um, and also a staffer at the uh, the Senate Intel Committee and who said he, Schiff knew about this whistleblower. In fact, Schiff helped the whistleblower in August. Yet Schiff says if it weren't for the IG, he would have never known about the whistleblower. Meanwhile, we, we, we have him tied to the whistleblower months ago. And in fact, New York Times outed Schiff too. Yes, so the Federalist came out with a piece yesterday saying that it is illegal to go to Congress first. It makes you uh, unable to live under the Whistleblower Protection Act. And so you are not granted the benefits of that act. And therefore, you are potentially up for federal prosecution. This whistleblower, if they didn't actually watch their steps, and if it is proven that they acted in a partisan way, went to Congress first before the IG, then they may be facing federal jail time. How about the people who gave the information to the whistleblower. Remember, it's hearsay, yep. right? So you can't prosecute yep. the whistleblower. You can't use it as evidence, but you can use uh, the actual person who delivered the information to the whistleblower. Yep. They they broke the law. I mean, this is correct. You can't leak a presidential conversation that he right. has with another world leader to people because you feel you're upset. You be the whistleblower. If you're going to leak it, yep. well, go to go to go the proper route. Get an attorney, go to the IG and, and declare yourself a whistleblower, yep. not give it to someone else to go do it. Think about a universe where Obama's calls with presidential leaders were perpetually leaked and left in the press as innuendo. It would be it make for a terrible presidency. Is, is Judge and, Napolitano wrong for saying that the context of the Trump conversation with the uh, president of Ukraine states that the context of it is that it was a quid pro quo? Yes. I agree with you. Yes, because how are you supposed to conduct any type of world leader? Remember when in chairs very similar to these chairs, Obama leaned in and told Dmitry Mendeleev that he could have more flexibility if after, only he won the election. After the election. If I'm only more. I won the election, I'd be able to give you this, the, what you want on sanctions and on military mm -hmm. and on gas. My last election, please. Yeah. And after my election, I have more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. And this, I transmit this information to Vladimir and Mr. He, he said it in front of the whole world yeah. on a hot mic. Yeah. And yeah. so if what Trump did was a quid pro quo, then Obama leaning in and asking the yeah. Russian president. I, I get news for you. Every congressional codel, they're called codels, might say probably 80, 90 percent of the Congress people and senators here in D.C., they'll go overseas. They'll bring their family with them, their wife, sometimes their kids, their friends. All expenses paid. They'll shake a hand with an Italian diplomat, say, hey, how you doing? They're good. They've just cleared themselves of, of any wrongdoing because they met with a, a dignitary or a diplomat mm -hmm. or business person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they've got the whole thing paid for, whether it's the Italians paying for it or the American public paying for it. Mm -hmm. That's called the codel. If mm -hmm. that's a thing of, of value, mm -hmm. right? you bring your family on a vacation to Europe, that's a, that's a valuable thing. If you want to say what Trump did has, was a thing of value mm -hmm. and he traded it for something, every one of these guys are going down. Every one of them, well, 80% of them.